Hello VC, hello everyone. Uh, I thought I'd do this little video because, um, well, I thought why not. It's a video for my first um, CD. Um, this was a contest that went around, that, I went, that was on around the VC um, in January time. I saw James Griffiths' video and Johnny Seed's video. Really liked them. And I thought, do you know what, when the time is right I'm going to do that. And the reason is because, um, well, the day this video is uploaded um, is, I believe, the 26th of September. And that marks 50 years of one particular record. And that is um, The Beatles' Abbey Road. And this was my first CD. Um, so, okay, let's put a bit of backstory. Okay, so I got, in, I got into music itself around now seven. Uh, mainly via the James Bond films, and of course, and one of the first Bond films I saw was Live and Let Die, which had the song Live and Let Die by Paul McCartney and Wings, and I really loved that song. Um, actually, kind of actually, actually, still really kind of like that Bond film as well. Um, but you know, I was kind of discovering music at the time. Also, of course, because you was played on the radio, the chart entries, unfortunately, which I still remember a lot of, <laughs> and. Um, so, yeah, so I kind of like was slowly getting into certain music and finding about certain people, for example, John Lennon, and then kind of clicking in that John Lennon and Paul McCartney were in a band for Beatles. I never heard of them. So I would ask my family, and they'd know about them. I'll be other yeah, they're famous. My, my grandparents knew about the Beatles, remembered them very well. My tide used to always sing Hey Jude. I always remember them, used to always sing that song. And then, um, so also I'd go on the internet and listen to Beatles stuff, um, their music, and really just fall in love with it, really like it. And then I was, it was my ninth birthday, and um, I finally, um, I asked my dad, um, could I have a Beatles, could I have something Beatles related? So I think he popped out at HMV after he went to, to work, and I remember him giving me, and said, here you go, Sean. Oh, thank you, Dad. What's and I said, you know, what's this? It's, um, oh, it's Abbey Road. It's a really good album. Okay, um, yeah, this is an old CD, by the way. Um, this is from the original release in 1987. Um, yeah, this is when HMV was still back in around where I live. It's not here anymore, unfortunately. It closed down about five years ago. My God. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, this album is really one of those albums that means very a lot to me because it's the first CD I ever got. And uh, yeah, so how about some well basic information about the record itself? Of course, it was released on the twenty sixth of September, nineteen sixty nine, in the UK. Um, in the US, it was released on the first of October, and it was the last album the Beatles actually recorded um, when they were all together, um, because they'd already recorded "Let It Be" by that point, hadn't they? And then that was kind of shelved instead, and they made Abbey Road and put this out. So yeah. But it's an incredible album. It's probably my favourite Beatles album of the late. I don't know. It's quite difficult to say, really, because I love a lot of Beatles music. It's difficult to say which one's the best. And yeah, this is one of the best, definitely. It's an incredible record. And I was, I listened to a few of the tracks I wasn't familiar with um, before I filmed this, actually, because there are a few tracks I kind of forgot. Although I'd listened to it a while back, um, in the beginning of the month, I'd put it on the on the tin. I'd put it on the on my hospital radio station in. Um, on my Saturday show, I put on Beatles Abbey Road because it was the anniversary of the, when they'd taken the photo. So, um, yeah. Um, let's get it done. So, um, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's get down to it. Well, okay. Um, well, well um, yeah, it only had one single, actually, and that was the, tr there's the opening track, Come Together. Come Together. So, yeah. Let's do a little, uh, little overview of the record. Um, we've got track one, Come Together. Um, incredible, great track. Brilliant intro. The dum, boom, 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 boom. You know, great intro. Um, great lyrics. And um, it's got a great guitar solo as well. Um, just a, you know, pretty damn good song altogether, really. I don't think I can do these songs justice with me explaining them. We just have to listen to them yourself, really. Um, track two is probably my favourite. Probably one of my favourite Beatles tracks of all time. Well, probably a few lot of these are anyway, so yeah. Um, something, brilliant song written by George Harrison. I absolutely love the tracks that George Harrison wrote. 
they're incredible, they're pretty damn good. Um, but this is an incredible song, I always love hearing listening to this one. And then we get um, the kind of their quirky side, um, like their, that vibe of the early stuff. So like the kind of the, the ditty type songs, like you know, the ones you can hum along to. Mm -hmm. And that is with uh, Maxwell's Silver Hammer, a great little fun little song. Um, so yeah, I always remember, I used to like that one a lot. Uh, fourth track is a great little, um, like, good old one, um, old, oh darling, really do love that one. Um, you know, Paul McCartney's vocals on that track, just, you know, he's, he's, you know, shouting away. Yeah. Track five, I used to always listen to this one, um, Confession. Um, when I was younger, I used to listen to this on repeat, um, on my old CD system, which I used to have, um, it was a great system, it had, um, Good speakers as well, sadly it died out in 2014. Um, but I used to listen to repeat when I was a kid, and it is Octopus's Garden, and I still love it to this day. Uh, track six, um, I Want You, She's So Heavy. Just a, you know, I love the I love that bit. And, um, I want you, want you, you know. Oh, that bit when, yeah, yeah. Um, then we have um, uh, track um, seven. It is a great song. Um, it probably explains uh, the day I'm having this morning. Um, Here comes the sun. You know, say it's all right. Yeah, uh, great little, great song. It was written by um, George Harrison, I believe. Yeah, and vocals by him. Um, so yeah, what else have we got? What else have we got on here? Um, oh, yeah, we've got Because, which is a beautiful number, um, with their vocals in harmonies, um, just a great little song. Um, not very much instrumentation, but it's still, you know, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a really lovely song. And this one, and, and the next one again, you know, you never give me all your money. A uh, beautiful little track with a with piano by McCartney, so yeah. Um, Sun King. I was quite surprised by this one because I hadn't heard it in a long time. And it's a pretty damn good song. I hadn't heard it in a while. So it was like, um, you know, wow, I hadn't heard it in a while. I couldn't believe it. So yeah. Me and Mr. Mustard again, one of the. Kind of reminds me a bit of a Max Russell Hammer, that, um, that kind of like that um, little song vibe to it. But it's still a pretty fun little song. And the next one's a good old like, really carkers back to the uh, early sound of the Beatles with Polyphene Pam. And then we have um, another good little um, ballad type song with them, um, which came in through the bathroom window. And we have track uh, 14 and 15, which beautifully goes together, the incredible Golden Slumbers, and carry that for weight. Just absolutely brilliant songs. And we have uh, track 16, The End. Good old uh, like rocking type song, and a beautiful little acoustic number with McCartney and vocals to end to end. Her Majesty. Now, yeah, this album is just an absolute, absolute classic. Um, I always remember I used to play it. Um, I, I I played it once in my room. I just loved it. I think this is what started my relationship with music in general. Um, of course, you know, produced by um, produced by George Martin, of course. But just an incredible record. And a great little, great cover, you know, and I get to identify, and I, it got me to identify who was who in the band. And, uh, you know, I just can't say much about the album, I'm not really a reviewer, but I can say it's a great album, and if you haven't heard it, I highly recommend it. And, uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful record, um, with beautiful music. And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, yeah. And it's one of my favourite albums of all time, definitely. And has a strong place in my heart, because it was my first CD. Um, not my other first CDs, like the second CD I bought. I don't think I've, I don't think I've got any of them. A lot of my other CDs by Pet Shop Boys are all gone, unfortunately. Uh, I'm actually going to see them next year. I'm going to Cardiff next year to go see them, Pet Shop Boys, so I can't wait for that. Um, so, yeah, VC, that's my little video on Beatles Abbey Road, my first CD. 
celebrating 50 years of this classic album. Hope it stays strong for the next 50 or so. Take care everyone, and bye bye for now.